Border Patrol agent goes rogue on Fox News exposes what caravan used children for. It has been widely reported that members of the migrant caravan stormed the southern border between San Diego and Tijuana, attempting to cross and illegally enter the United States. And, the mainstream media has painted the incident as sympathetic to the migrant caravan members because U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents used tear gas on the group. Women and children were affected by the gas and seemingly countless pictures and videos showed these victims running in horror from the gas. The scene was horrible, but some mainstream media outlets are not telling the whole story, Hector Garza, the vice president of the National Border Patrol Council told Fox News host Laura Ingram. According to Garza, women within the migrant caravan were used as human shields by those within the caravan seeking to agitate U.S. border forces. Our agents were under attack. They were assaulted, Garza said to Ingram, as BizPack Review reports. These migrants were throwing rocks, glass bottles, and other debris. Some of our agents were hit on their heads. There were minor injuries, he continued. And, there was also damage to government vehicles, their windows were broken. So this was an assault. This was an invasion on our agents, and on our country. And our agents had to respond with a very low level of force, which was the tear gas that was deployed. Here's more. But Hector Garza pointed out that the migrants intentionally used women and children as human shields as they assaulted Border Patrol agents with rocks and bottles. About 90% of the migrant caravans are young men, according to multiple press reports. The few women and children scattered throughout are merely being used as props to promote leftist propaganda. Mexican and Guatemalan officials said the callous use of women and children as shields on the front line was done deliberately to stoke public outrage at border.